The Senate will now be in session. All rise for the arrival of the Honorable Senate President and the Senators of the Republic of the Philippines. Senators buckled down to work as the second regular session of the 19th Congress resumed plenary sessions last week. On its resumption, the Senate passed on third and final reading the proposed Tatak Pinoy Act, which seeks to empower local businesses and industries and make Filipino products and services more competitive. The Chamber also gave its final approval on local infrastructure bills. The bill seeking to establish the Philippine Ecosystem and Natural Capital Accounting System, or PENCAS, hurdled the Senate on second reading. Also approved on second reading were several House bills on the conversion of roads in the province of Romblon. Committee on Finance Chairperson Senator Sani Angara sponsored on Tuesday the 2024 General Appropriations Bill marking the start of marathon plenary debates on the $5.768 trillion proposed national budget for next year. Senators pushed for the passage of the proposed Nictas Pinoy Centers Act, which calls for the establishment of evacuation centers in every city and municipality in the country. The Committee on Environment, Natural Resources, and Climate Change tackled bills seeking the declaration of protected areas in the country. Meanwhile, the Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs wrapped up its inquiry on the alleged violations of the Surigao del Norte based Socorro Bayanihan Services, Incorporated. The panel also turned over to law enforcement agencies officials of the SBSI facing arrest warrants. The Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations, and Gender Equality inspected the Internet Gaming License Hub recently raided by law enforcers for alleged human trafficking. This, as the Senate panel started its inquiry into the alleged human trafficking and cyber fraud activities in Philippine offshore gaming operations. Senate President Juan Miguel Mix F. Zubiri on Wednesday led the unveiling of his official portrait and the Senate Museum coffee table book. Former and incumbent senators gathered anew for the Senate reunion dinner in celebration of the chamber's 107th anniversary. Held at the historic Ayuntamiento de Manila, the gathering also put a spotlight on former Senate secretaries who have served the chamber. The 2023 Senate Mini Olympics formally closed with the Office of Senate Secretary emerging as the overall champion. The Senate officially kicked off the Yuletide festivities with the Christmas lighting ceremony organized by the Senate Spouses Foundation, Incorporated.